All right, guys, here we go up against Dinamo Kiev today. And um, <clears throat> we haven't won at, on the road this season. The last road win that we have was against Lenz. Um, that was the final match of last season. Um, we weren't very good on the road last season either. This is one of the reasons why we're kind of stuck mid-table. We should be winning games like this. We have a much better team um, than uh, any of our opposition. We know that. Uh, but uh, it's definitely easier said than done, and so we'll see what we can do. Um, and uh, we are in red today, all red, and hopefully the red will be the lucky color for us. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. It's Mendez there getting that interception over to Ratcliffe and down to Cristiano Ronaldo, who's back in action after being off for a little while. Baganides, and uh, that's the end of that. We have Ronaldo back up front. They were asking me if I was uh, starting him because I promised him that I would. And yes, that is the reason why we want him to be happy. It's that unhappiness that um, he uh, felt that has hurt us so much. Golic uh, gets this. And um, it's knocked out for a throw. It was that unhappiness, I think, that uh, really hurt things in terms of morale. And that's part of the reason why we haven't been uh, stomping over teams the way we thought we would. Pedro Roca had it and then lost it right away. Shevchenko uh, here brings this up forward and uh, looks like we're going to uh, be on the defensive here and there he is and there's the shot. I'm pretty sure he was on side. Yashin looked really bad to be beaten like that on the uh, near post. And yeah, I mean, they're not even going to look at it. He was on side all the way. So it was a good pass here back to Shevchenko who I think is another one of the uh, legendary players. You'll have to excuse me for not knowing all of this off the top of my head. And it's one nothing for Dinamo Kiev. And we are really, really in trouble. Yeah, he was clearly on side, and uh, the player who was uh, not part of the formation, well, I can't figure out who that was, it won't let me click over. Um, but it was a poor, poor job by our defense. Here's a Korea with it over to Pele. Pele looking for Golic. He loses it, then wins it, then loses it again after that tackle. This would knock us all the way down to 15th. Well, we definitely don't want that, and here they come again. Uh, we're barely able to uh, knock that one off. And uh, the defense that has always been a little bit shaky is looking really bad so far today. It was uh, Cristiano Ronaldo who headed that one off. And Yashin ends up jumping up and making the save. Good for him, and uh, we'll uh, have to wait a little bit more. We don't have any XG yet. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He takes a shot on goal, and that goes over everyone's head. Pele is out there as well, and I'm wondering if there isn't some animosity between Ronaldo and Pele that might be hurting us. Korea and Pele wins this, and uh, he tries to bend that one down and in. It just doesn't quite work out for him. There's Mendez with it now, getting it from Yashin. Pele. Forward for Ronaldo. Over for Galic. Can't quite get it to him. And this is headed up and over, and uh, Milan still couldn't get there in time. It's uh, going to be uh, Ratcliffe there in the back. Over to Mendez, to Korea. Korea to Pele, to Galic. Korea again to Ratcliffe. Pele. He loses it, but then he wins it back, and then his cross is a poor one. Mendez ends up intercepting this to Pedro Roca. Ends up with Vagianidis over to Golic, and his shot was from point-blank range. He was offside, is what they're going to say. Um, but he couldn't get a better shot off than that. I mean, there's no way he was never going to get the ball in a uh, closer position than that. And yeah, he was offside. He was offside just by a little bit. Mendez here in the back to Ratcliffe. Moore. Forward for Ronaldo. Ronaldo down to Vaganidis. Moore again. Four looking for Pele. Can't find him. Korea tries to hit that one first time up and over his head. That's a ridiculous shot to take considering what your teammates are like. So we are now ahead in XG, but we still haven't been able to find the goal. Here's Mendez with a throw over to Korea. Down to Pedro Rojo. So Augsburg have been playing pretty cold lately. And it looks like the cold spell is continuing. There's a pass forward for Ronaldo who loses his man and whose shot is a totally ridiculous one. It was Cristiano making this play forward for Ronaldo. And, uh, I mean, he doesn't even try to get past the keeper, so it doesn't work out all that well in the end. Well, and we're going to have to sit back and watch as they sort of play by themselves. There's Galic winning the interception over to Pele. Couldn't quite get it to him in time, however. Ratcliffe goes back. He wins this over to Mendez. 
Pedroca now over to Ratcliffe again. Looking for Cristiano, and he wins it. I'm pretty sure he was on. No, they're saying he was onside. We still can't quite work it in the way we'd like to. Mendez here with it back to Ratcliffe over to Korea. Pele. Forward for Cristiano. There it is over to Ronaldo, and he scores. That's number four this season for Augsburg, and so he's done it. 1 1, and we have come back. This is an excellent pass. It wasn't really intended for Ronaldo. It was intended for Milan Galic, but um, he went over right in the nick of time and uh, was able to head that one in. It makes a 1-1, and uh, that ought to make people feel at least a little bit happier that we want to win. We don't want to draw anymore. More here with this in the back over to Korea. Pele has taken away Ronaldo over to Pele. Pele over to Cristiano Ronaldo, who has a goal. Easy. First goal for Cristiano. So among the sea of white supporters of uh, Dinamo Kiev is Cristiano Ronaldo, who's able to get in front of everybody. Excellent pass forward, and a pretty simple shot by him, and he's able to just sort of chip it in. And there you have it. One, two to one now for Augsburg, and we have turned this game around in a hurry. Here's Ratcliffe again, intercept. Mendez over to Pedro Roca, and that's the end of that highlight. Here's Mendez with this down to Ratcliffe. And so it looks like the team's starting finally come together. Forward for Ronaldo. That's uh, out for a throw. I'm sorry, out for a corner. Up and over looking for more. Couldn't quite find him. Pedro Roca ends up with this. And that's going to be the end of that highlight, I believe. Here's more. Over to Pedro Roca to Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, that is. Over for Pele. Pele lumps his forward for the other Ronaldo, and um, it's a poorly aimed pass. Here we go again. Pele. Mendez. Down to Korea, back to Mendez. Over to Pele again, and uh, he lumps that one over for nobody in particular. Cristiano Ronaldo wins this, pulls it down, and uh, takes a shot that's uh, very wild. We have uh, totally started dominating the momentum of this match all of a sudden. Not quite sure where it is that we've come from. Here's Torres behind the defense, and uh, that does that. Facundo Torres ends up scoring, and uh, that's going to be good. No question about it. I think it's Moore. Yep, it's Bobby Moore that he ran past. Remember that Moore is not quite that fast, and that's what happens when you don't have that speed down behind. They can get behind you like that. So Moore, not quite with the speed necessary to uh, run back and prevent that from happening. And it's 2-2, and we have a fight on our hands. Mendez ends up with this. Pulls it down. Knocks it over for Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's looking for Ronaldo. Couldn't quite find him. Puts us back down to 11th. That's where we started. Korea wins this. And wins it again from Shevchenko. Does a very good job. Way to run that one down. And here comes Moore lumbering around. Over for Ronaldo. Tried to uh, turn nothing into something. Didn't work very well. That's uh, passed over to Shevchenko. And here he comes again. Mendez ends up with this, and uh, that's the end of that. And uh, we were, I think, lucky there that Bokem was called for being offside. I'm not so sure about that call. Uh, but uh, our defense had totally given up. Ronaldo back to our Greek friend over for Korea. And it's Ronaldo who wins this somehow and takes a shot. It's wide. And that's going to be the end of that. Moore wins this over to Pele. It's a rack left to Mendez. Back to Yashin. Back down to Moore. And we'll try it again. Cristiano now. Ward for Galic. 
And, uh, you know, when he pulls it in like that, it's there's nothing else that's going to happen. Galich scores the goal as easy as that. And it's now 3-2 to two for Augsburg. So the strikers are striking, and uh, we're looking pretty good so far. And this time we're able to get back on defense to prevent anything silly from going over. Pele to Ronaldo to Korea, and uh, he was wide open. Might as well take it. Not quite the goal scoring machine that we probably need there, but um, it was worth a shot. And so we're getting the shots on target. We're happy with that. We let everybody know about that. We are having some problems um, in the back, but um, it doesn't seem that anybody's worse for the wear, given what the uh, match ratings are like. Now, Pele is the one that we're kind of looking for because his match sharpness wasn't so wonderful. Um, and uh, if we have to take him off, I'm not quite sure what we would end up doing. Uh, I think we would put in Niketia, and um, if we had to take somebody else off, it would be Chabumguin who would probably come on in the front. But it uh, looks like we're not going to have to worry about that for the time being. So Bobby Moore has it out here in the bag. Over to Vagianidis. And Cristiano Ronaldo, and uh, he's won as a corner. I think Cristiano Ronaldo had three um, assists and a goal in that first half, if I um, count right. I mean, we can't have that. Two assists and a goal, I mean. Here's Mendez trying to find space, and Kitzinger ends up tackling him, and that's the end of that. But three to two for Augsburg so far, and we're looking pretty good for the game, for the wear. Mendez over to Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe to Pedro Roca. Back to Moore, and we're going to try to attack here from the right side, and it doesn't work, but Moore does win it back over to Ronaldo. And that's an own goal by Nervo. Martin Nervo. Um, I'm not sure what he was trying to do. I mean, he was going to give us a corner if he was going to clear that. And he ends up just, just passing it backwards. I mean, no, see, that's what happens. It's actually Delgado who hits it off of Nervo's foot. So the blame goes to both of them. 4-2 to two, uh, now Augsburg. And... Um, yeah, that was pretty embarrassing, I would say. Mendez winning this over to Korea. Galich looking for Ronaldo. Can't quite find him. And that dies off in midfield. Hit Roka to Korea to Pele. Pele now over to Galich, who's way offside. Galich is excellent when he gets in the right area, but uh, sometimes uh, he mistimes those runs. And so we still are close, at least, to the top four positions, despite not playing as well as we like, and we might finally win another game away from uh, home. Ratcliffe ends up with us in the back, and uh, they're calling um, Andriy Shevchenko offside. Here's Yashin down to Mendez. Not really a great pass by Lev. And uh, Mendez gives the ball up right away. But uh, Yashin jumps up and he makes a good save before anything strange happens. So the defense doesn't look necessarily all that uh, secure, but uh, we are able to prevent crazy goals from being scored against us. I tell you, Mendez doesn't look like um, he wants to be here. That was a really poor pass. Fortunately for us, Shevchenko was offside again, so I guess we're trying to look for that offside trap, and I think it's working. There's more with it down to Korea, over to Ratcliffe. Back to Moore, and it's uh, not exactly the best pass in the world. Cristiano now, back to Moore. Cristiano over to Vaganidis, and he's offside. And he was pretty clearly offside. It was kind of hard to see here from this angle, but it was not very well done. Mendez, and now there's another offside flag, so we've had nothing but flags up on both sides. It's flag day here, and here's Vaganidis, and he's won as a corner. And Pedro Roca trying that first-time shot again, and 
That was ridiculous. He's young. These young players are going to figure it out one of these days. Cristiano Ronaldo wins this to Korea down to Pele. Cristiano. Pedro Roca. That was no foul. That was no foul. That's ridiculous. Now they're going to say it was a penalty. Here's Pele. And there's his first goal of the season. Can you believe it? So 5-2 to two now, Augsburg. Pele is going to come out here probably in another 10 minutes or so. Mendes with the interception. Pedro Rojo over to Ronaldo. Cristiano now to Vaganidis. And it's taken away from him right away. Cristiano, by the way, now is a 10.0 match rating. Golic over to Korea. Mendes backs him up. Rackliff to Pedro Rojo. He takes another shot that's a little bit wild. So our Segundo Volantes um, are a little bit more confident of their abilities than they probably should be. And we're up to face against another offensive attack by Dinamo Kiev. It's Rakliff who wins this in the back over to Pele. Back to Rakliff to Pedro Roca. Rakliff again down to Pele once again. Mendez. And he put that one out for somebody. I'm not quite sure who that was um, intended for. Didn't quite work as I think it was originally intended. And uh, that ends up being out for a throw. And so we'll go ahead and we'll make the substitution now. As I said, Niketia will come on for Pele. And uh, Ronaldo has played well but is tired. And so we will actually put uh, Chabunquin on just as I promised. We'll confirm the sub, and we'll get out of this. And here's Ronaldo with a free kick. Looking for Bobby Moore and couldn't find it. Kahalic with the interception to Korea. And that's a poor shot. Eddie with a real poor shot. So much for that. Augsburg with a comfortable lead, so it's okay if uh, people do things that are a little bit strange or uh, whatever. Eddie with a poor clearance. And that should have been a goal. Well, it goes wide, and uh, that's just sort of the end of that one. Baganidis was trying to start something from nothing there and it uh, didn't quite work out as well as he would have liked. He was lucky he didn't knock that one into the 10th uh, row. Korea back to the Greek. Over to Pedro Roca. Korea again down to Eddie Niketia. Mendez and finds him over to Galic and he was offside. Here they come again. Fortunately for us, their shot is high and wide. Always rising, as they say. And Yashin pulls this one down. So no problem at all. Augsburg continue to have this 5-2 lead. Throws over to Mendez. Mendez down to Niketia, and uh, he wins it now. He loses it again. It was a real, real poor attempt. And Yashin is going to give up a goal. No, they just miss it. Don't know what, don't know what Yashin is doing so far out of his box. I don't know what his eccentricity rating is, but it must be pretty high if he's doing this. I mean, what, what was that? Pedro Raul almost got a freebie. It's a free sample, and he ends up uh, throwing it away. Pedro Roca, forward for Ronaldo, and it's just a step in front of him. And so that's the end of that. We got about four minutes of added time. That shot's not bothering anybody. So a couple minutes here of added time left. Yashin lumps this over to Golic. And apparently it was offside. I'm not sure how that one worked.
Pedro Raul that time is flagged for being offside, even though the ball wasn't anywhere near him. So go figure that one out. Ronaldo can't get there. Correa can't win the header. Ratcliffe to Mendez to Nikethia. Correa to Golic. Over to Nikethia. And he just walks the ball into the keeper. Would have been a crazy goal. You can tell he's not really that comfortable playing there from the left side. At least I don't think he is. Much better off as a uh, striker, but we want to give him some game time. And this is going to be the end right here. Maybe about 20 seconds left. We will move up to fourth with this victory. Assuming we don't give up a goal. I guess we'll take another look at this first. There's not really much to see. He just sort of walks it up and not much happens. Uh, we are able to head it out, so uh, not we're able to get it for the most part out of the danger zone. And uh, we've brought this up to midfield, and that should just about do it here. Got maybe a couple of seconds left. See, FC Bayern look like they're losing, I think, at home. And that does it. So Augsburg with the 5-2 win. It's a deserved victory, and uh, we're back to winning ways. Hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.